everybody and welcome back to BD Studios. On today's little project I decided to paint a rock, a nativity set. A friend of mine wanted a religious type of gift and so the little rock is, seems to be something that people like. So right here what I did was that I started off with the white base is gesso to set, um, to set the color of the background. What I did afterwards was just sketch it out with a pencil lightly and now I started adding the acrylic paint. So what I did was start putting out the faces with a cream colored, make them nice and soft. And now what I'm doing is with the liner brush is that I'm adding dimension to the hair and the beard and starting to fill it out and start to take um, shape. I'm not gonna want to do any facial features on these. Keep them real simple and and just define the areas as you go along. The good thing about the pencil is as soon as you add the acrylic um, paint, it goes away. But you always want to outline your piece so that when you lose it, your pencil marks, you have the paint there. So now I'm doing the robe. This is going to be brown. I picked nice soft colors. I went online and I saw different nativity scenes and the colors are always real soft blues and browns and olives and so you could just choose the color you like. I got inspiration by going online and finding different nativity sets and then I just freehand it but if you don't feel comfortable you could always print something online and then maybe trace it or something like that. But it's not a di very difficult project. So here I'm doing his um, under the under uh, robe or tunic in an olive color so go slowly I think if um, you have difficulties using a liner brush you could always go back in with a sharpie at the same time or a very fine tip black pen but with the fine tip black pen you might actually go through the paint so you have to be really careful I would I would do a sharpie better a very um, thin sharpie these are great little gifts for the holidays if you want to try to do it on your own and then um, put them on little easel. I got these rocks at Michael's. They sell them in a big jar of different sizes. And they're, uh, I think they're river, river rocks. Really inexpensive. And they have a nice round shape to them. This one's about, I would say it's about four inches wide sits really nicely uh, on a wooden easel or an acrylic easel they sell them at Michaels and Hobby Lobby and many different places even in Walmart I think you could find the, the easel for it so there I'm doing her tunic which is gonna be like a blue jean color and then I'm doing a little bit of her hair her hair initially I had done it black but I didn't like it so I went back in and did it brown and now her, her cover-up robe is a nice creamy butter, buttery yellow. And don't be afraid to turn your art, you know, sideways so that you can get into all the little spots and, and you can turn the rock upside down. Adding a little bit of shadow to the top of her head with the leftover brown from his cover-up his tunic, his robe. Okay, so I'm gonna do the all the edge. Again, there, if you don't feel too comfortable, get a Sharpie, but try it. All right, doing a little more shadowing, a little bit more shadowing on his face. If I did too much, go back in, lighten it up. That's why I like acrylic. There's the baby. They're really cute. I've done several of these and they're really fun to make and they don't take very long. So what happens with acrylic paint when you put the first layer, it becomes very translucent. So what I'm doing is I'm going back now that it's dried and I'm adding a second layer. I'm also adding a little bit of brown to give it a little bit more dimension and shadow. But just be aware that sometimes you have to do two hands. Here I go with the blue as well because it's very translucent. That's just what happens with acrylic paint. And I'm using 
inexpensive acrylic paints that come in little bottles. Okay, so here I'm highlighting all the areas again to redefine. I want everything to have a nice fine black line around it. So just take your time if you're doing this project and just go slowly around it. If you think you did too much, you go back in and you add the, the color. So what I'm using back here is like a midnight blue. And I want to leave a tiny white shadow around all the figures. Create that light behind them. I think that adds a lot to the piece. And plus, you don't have to get so close to the edge. It actually helps you when you're painting. You want to go inside all the little areas. And leave your tiny white line. And the little halos all around them. It's taking shape. I need it to go back in and add more white. So you see, you put your blue, you go back in, you add your white. There I made a little boo-boo, so I went back and crossed them over so their halos cross each other, see? So now I'm adding the black to emphasize it again, give it a little more shadow. See how it pops? As soon as you do that, all your pieces pop. It's almost like a like a coloring page, is what you know, the illusion of all the lines around it. So I'm adding the blue again, again, two coats to make it a little darker. Depending what project you do, maybe you, you whatever you're making, you want it to be a little more translucent, but I want the night sky to be dark. And there I'm adding white to frame it all around. Okay. A little more black, a little more white. See, I didn't like the way that that too much black on the hand there, the detailing. Now some little stars. And I think it's pretty much coming together. I'm gonna do another star in the middle and bingo, rock art. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Bye-bye.